Hello my fellow riders and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at a restricted and de-restricted Yamazaki YM50. Now as you can see I have set it up so that you can see the de-restricted version on the right hand side and the restricted version on the left. Now both of these bikes will top out at the same speed going downhill but the unrestricted version will top out on the flat at a higher speed. Also with the unrestricted version you will get up hills better, you will be able to use the fourth gear a little bit better and all around the bike is more suitable but you've got to remember this is a 50cc motorbike and legally as a 16 year old all you can do is ride 50cc restricted now as you can see as it's going up the hill the unrestricted version is slightly better at getting up there and it will hold the gear for slightly longer which means that when you get to the top of the hill the bike will be going slightly faster also on these bikes uh, they have a slight restriction in third gear at 7000 rpm and a fourth gear in 7000 also if you've ridden one of the new euro 5 versions you will be able to tell that there is a restriction there and uh, when you de-restrict it there is quite a big difference it doesn't translate as good on video but when you're actually riding them it does actually make it quite a big difference now to get these de-restricted you do have to be 17 years old and um, you can get them from cheap bikes for us so what you do is you order a de-restriction kit uh, which is an ECU that has been de-restricted this costs £200 what then happens is you put that on your bike take your old one off send the old one back to cheap bikes for us and they will give you i think it's 50 pound back so to de-restrict your bike this time is a little bit more expensive but there is quite a lot more to it and it can only be done at cheap bikes for us now if you do decide to take your bike into cheap bikes for, uh, cheap bikes for us and get it de-restricted there then this will be cheaper remember as a 16 year old you cannot de-restrict your bike legally but as soon as you hit that 17 year old you can de-restrict your bike it is legal I'm not 100% sure if you have to declare it as a modification because it's not actually um, increasing the performance of the bike it is just removing the inhibitor for the 16 year old so in theory I would say talk to your insurance company to be safe but from how I can see it, it's probable that you shouldn't have to now as I said before this will make quite a big difference to your riding on your Yamazaki and it will make it a little bit more useful but whether you do it or not is down to you down to how you deem it to be necessary or not but remember that quite a lot of people do this regardless just because it does help a lot on hills and especially if you're in a hilly area um, 50 cc's might not be suitable unless you get them de-restricted so thank you for watching my video, I hope you've enjoyed it. Remember to subscribe to my channel to stay updated to all of my latest content. But also if you do subscribe to my channel, this is going to help me out to be able to get noticed a little bit more so that I can do reviews on more, a wider variety of bikes, i.e. AGS, Sinis, Herald and maybe even some of the Japanese makes later on. But we shall see. So remember to subscribe, hit the thumbs up and if you didn't like it please comment below and tell me how I can make my videos better in the future. Remember all of these videos are out to help you so hopefully you enjoy. But as always, ride safe.